Hey everyone, my name is Matt and in today's video we're going to be doing a video talking about dual cores or quad cores and what necessarily do they actually mean. A lot of people have been misinterpreting uh, what necessarily is dual core and what necessarily is quad core processors because I've watched a couple of videos of people doing PC builds and as far as I know they know what the hardware is that they're putting in their PC they don't know exactly what quad core or dual core necessarily stands for so what they say in their term is basically dual cores or quad cores which doesn't exist if you guys think quad cores exist or dual cores exist they don't it's pronounced quad core and dual core because dual core stands for two cores processing information together and which is dual channel and a quad core is basically two cores processing actually quad cores processing my bad uh, skip that it's processing four co four cores are processing the same information at once uh, which makes typically your everyday use on a computer like opening up tasks and uh, web browsing basically tabs it helps overall with the performance and speed and sometimes it could help with gaming especially when you record a quad core has more cores so like two cores are going to be extra for like the video recording software and the other two cores will be for the gameplay um, but when you're not recording you should be pretty much fine playing games with a dual core it's not going to bottleneck that much maybe by like 5 10 frames but it's not a big deal uh, but yeah that's basically what quad core stands for and dual core stands for so hopefully you guys learned something new today hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to check out my other videos, you can go ahead and check them out in the description below. I'll also link them in my intro or outro. And yeah, just like or like this video and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.